Romans 8.14 says, As many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons, these are the daughters of God. So if we're being led by God's Spirit, the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, we can trust, we can have confidence that we will not be led astray. Because Jesus said in John 16.13, When the Spirit of truth comes, He will guide you into all truth. He's talking about the Holy Spirit here. He says He will not speak on His own authority, but what He hears, He will speak. And then he will tell you of things to come. So the Holy Spirit only speaks what he hears. Who is the Holy Spirit hearing from? The Holy Spirit hears from our Father in heaven, from God. The Holy Spirit only speaks what God says, nothing more and nothing less. So as the Holy Spirit leads us, that leading, that direction is from God our Father. So we can trust, we can know that we will not be led astray because that direction is coming from God and not from anywhere else. It's coming from our Father who sees all and knows exactly what we need to do in any given situation. So we can trust, we can have that confidence, we can have that faith in God, in His Word, if we're being led by the Spirit of God because that direction's coming from God. But what does that really look like? Help me to visualize that. The way that I visualize it is with a two-way radio or a walkie-talkie. So say, say you have a walkie-talkie, say your friend has a walkie-talkie. You're driving down the road and you, you just talk and say, hey, I'm passing mile marker 30 on 65 uh, North. The message that your friend is going to hear in the different car is, I'm passing mile marker 30 on 65 North. He's going to hear that exact message. This is how the Holy Spirit works. Whatever God says is the message that we receive. But the caution here is, just with the Holy, as with the Holy Spirit, same with walkie-talkies, you have different channels, you have different frequencies. So when I turn this walkie-talkie on, 11. I'm on channel 11, but I can turn it to 10, 8, eight 7. seven. Eight. This particular walkie-talkie has 12 channels. In order to receive from the Holy Spirit the direction that God wants us to receive, our lives have to be tuned in to the frequency of obedience. We have to be obedient to God's Word in order to receive the direction, in order to receive the leading by the Holy Spirit. If we're not tuned into obedience, we're going to be tuned into all these other channels from the world. And we know that all that's, all that's within the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life, is not from God our Father, but it's, 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 it's of the world. It's from Satan. It's from our enemy. If we're being led by our senses... What we hear, taste, touch, smell, feel, all these things, we're being led by what's in the world. And we know according to 2 Corinthians 4, 4, that the God of this world, which is Satan, has blinded the minds of those who would believe. So Satan is the God of this world. So if we're, if we're being led by all this other stuff, if we're not tuned into obedience, we're going to be led by Satan, by our enemy. We have to make sure that we're tuned to obedience so that we know that we're hearing from the Father through the Holy Spirit. If we're not tuned to obedient, tuned into obedience, there's just a block there. We're going to be listening to everything around us and not to God. If you're at the point where you're, you've tuned to obedience, here's another caution for you. As with two-way radios, as with walkie-talkies, there can be some interference. You know, you're tuned to channel 11 and you may hear, you know, someone else talk because maybe they have a two-way radio and they're on that same frequency. And you're thinking, well, that's not my friend talking. Who is that? That's where it comes in that we have to test every spirit because there may be some interference, even with the leading of the Holy Spirit, because Satan comes as an angel of light. There, there may be some interference, but that is why John told us to do not believe every spirit, but test every spirit, whether it's from God or not. And then Paul said, to test all things, test all things and hold fast to that which is good. So with everything, we have to test every spirit to make sure that we're hearing from the Holy Spirit and not from some contradictory, some counterfeit, because Satan tries to come as a counterfeit. So how do we make sure we're doing that? How do we test every spirit? Well, there's a couple scriptures you can look at. So 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17 says that all scripture is inspired by God and is profitable for doctrine, reproof, correction, instruction in righteousness, that the man or woman of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. So the word of God equips us for every good work. The word of God instructs us 
We need the Word of God. Another scripture, Hebrews 4.12, the Word of God is living, it's powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and spirit and joints and marrow, and it is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So if we have the word in us, it helps us to discern. Is this from the Holy Spirit or is this from an evil spirit? Is this of God or is this of the devil? The word helps us to have that discernment. We need the word of God. That's the one way that we can test every spirit and know whether it's from God or not. Okay, so give you an example. So say you got this radio turned on. Let's, we're on 11, and say we're just listening here. Prepare to meet your maker. You are going to die. You're going to die? God, is that you? How do we test that? Okay, well, we can look. Let's look at the word. Psalms 118, 17. It's not my will that you shall die, but that you shall live and declare the works of the Lord. Okay, John 10.10, 10, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. I have come that you have life and have it to the abundance. Okay, so if we're hearing a voice saying we're going to die, that's contrary to the word of God. So if we have the word of God, if we know the word of God, we can quickly test that spirit and say, that is not of God. That is definitely from the devil. And if we hear those things, we can bind them up, say in Jesus' name, no, I'm not going to die. I'm going to live and declare the works of the Lord. Now, sometimes the, the Lord can warn you of things to come. Maybe, maybe there's something ahead that may present danger to you. Maybe that you need to go in a different direction. Okay, it may seem like it's contrary to the word of God, that there's danger or death or something ahead, but the Lord may be warning you that you need to steer in a different direction. So if he if he leads you in those areas, if he tells you things like that, then don't, don't just ignore them. You know, if it is danger ahead, bind it up in the name of Jesus. Bind it up, lose health, healing, protection, whatever it is over your life. Don't take it lightly, okay? And, it, and if he leads you and tells you something that, you know, it's not contrary to the word of God, say he says, you know, you should work at this place, okay? Write it down. Write it down in your journal and ask God to confirm it. Lord, if this is you, if this is truly you, then confirm this with me. And he will confirm it with you because you want to know without a shadow of a doubt that it's God leading you in that area of your life. Now, we don't need to pray about things that are in the Bible. You know, count it all joy, give thanks and everything. We don't have to pray about those things because God's already given us the direction in his word. And we know that we should do that. But if it's in areas with, you know, your house, your car, your spouse, uh, your job, uh, areas like that, the Lord speaks to you and says, you shall have a son and you shall name him, dot, dot, dot. Write those things down. Write them down and give it to God and say, Lord, I give you this area of my life. And if this is truly you, then bring it to pass at your appointed time. And if there's anything that I need to do, instruct me, lead me, direct me, show me what I need to do. But write those things down. And as we do that, we can rest assured that we will not be led astray. But just remember, as with the two-way radio, we need to be tuned to obedience. That's God's channel. That's how he can direct, direct our steps. That's how he can lead us through the Holy Spirit from the Word of God. If we're tuned to obedience, if we're obeying the Word of God, we can receive that direction from Him. But even as we're on that obedience, be sure to test every spirit. Make sure that that is coming from God and hold fast to that which is good. So test it back with the Word of God. Make sure you're in the Word daily. And as you do that, you will have that discernment to know good and evil and to know what is from God and what is from the enemy.